Some 13 years after the publication of the Ryan Report, the Taoiseach confirmed on the 19th of November that a further inquiry will now be set up into examine allegations of abuse at one of the country's most leading private schools, Blackwell College. The inquiry may have certainly sh showed cover over schools where allegations have emerged in recent weeks. There has also been complaints made about abuse of Spiritons run schools including St Mary's College and St Michael's College in Dublin and Rockwell College in Tipperary and many more schools around the country. However, it is crucial to the government to engage in victims and survivors here that the views, are, uh, views and ensure that it's a victim-led approach. Pressures are building over the last two weeks in Ireland for an inquiry to be announced following the documentary broadcast on RT Radio 1 on the 9th of November. In that documentary, two brothers spoke of having been sexually abused by priests at Blackrock College in the 1970s, and I do believe it's 233 have made allegations up to date on this. There can be little, note, there can be little doubt that the government, when dealing on the model of the proposed injury, must show that it is learned from the previous public inquiries into the child of clerical abuse in Ireland, which has often took longer than anticipated. If we have learned anything from the, the, the decades of abuse cases by predatory paedophiles, it is that as long as they could hide or where concealed, they, they posed a danger. What is crucial now is that all those, uh, those crimes are acknowledged and that the facts are put on record so such things cannot happen again. Whatever investigation takes place is essential and does not impede inquiries being carried out by Ngarda Shikana. Minister, I don't know, uh, this hurts home for everyone in, the, in this room across the house in all parties. And I do know it hits home when you look at people that entrusted their children into a um, school setting where they were, have been abused and you trusted the people that have done so. But this is like deja vu all over again when we saw the cases of the cover-ups and cover-ups in the modern babies' homes. The cover-ups and the cover-ups now in the clerical abuse which these people have to be brought to justice. And today at Leaders' Questions I brought up of the cover-ups and the cover-ups in the HSE within our own hospitals that are covering up mistakes, spending millions of taxpayers' money, hiding it, silencing staff, rather than tackling the issue at hand to help the vulnerable people, which are patients, and the staff within our hospital systems. And as a politician, and this is my first term as a politician, um, it sickens me to see that the bureaucracy that is put in place where we're here as protectors of the people. We are here as seen as protectors of, of a holistic, of Ireland, everyone, regardless of, of whether they're, they're from the country or from the city or whether they're, they're different nationalities, we're here as protectors. And it saddens me to see that every time that we try and go and do something to help and we bring it, that there's bureaucracy bull put in, in place, there's legal, put in place, there's cover-ups put in place, and it takes years upon years upon years to get to, to the place where the people have abused and need to be dealt with. And that is, is a fault of government as well from trying to protect the coffers, trying to protect the Catholic Church and the people within the Catholic Church that have done wrong. There's people within the Catholic Church that have done fantastic work. Within, but there is people within the Catholic Church that have done serious wrong, and we can see this here today. We can see it in everyone's face as they talk about this. It is cutting us in two for what we see can happen. But Minister, what I'd like to see going forward now is accountability, full transparency, and I'm asking um, the churches and I'm asking the schools to come out and do full disclosures of every bit of information that they have to help the victims now and stop dragging it out for years, waiting pe for people to die, waiting for people to commit suicide, waiting for people to become mentally ill. It's time now to come out and help the people that have been abused. 
And as I said there earlier on, it, it is disheartening to see this. And I've, I've said it already today, where I see that the taxpayers' money is being used to protect people, even within our hospital systems, if they've done wrong. If they've done wrong, put up your hands. If you've done wrong, let's fix the problem so it won't happen again. Take accountability for your actions. Everyone is, it can make a mistake. But if you approach the mistake that you've made, and if you want to fix it, at least then we can fix it. But covering it up only shoves it down the road for decades and it causes harm, it causes mental health, and it causes serious injuries to people. So, Minister... I'm delighted you're at the helm of this. You're a good person. But we need people to come and make full disclosures to make sure that any victim of, of abuse make sure that those people are looked after and also the people that, that cause abuse are brought to justice and brought to justice swiftly and not be protected for the basis of trying to protect properties or funding or whatever way it is. They have to be brought to justice now there has to be account accountability now, and we need to get help for the people. Thank you.